Stem cells have shown a lot of promise in so many areas of medicine, and now doctors are testing out a new use for stem cells, stopping hair loss. They've begun a nationwide trial for a treatment that's already showing success overseas. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman explains how it works. It's been uh, 30 years of, of concern. Roy Welke knows what it's like to lose your hair. Uh, noticed thinning in, um, in my late 20s, and it, uh, n it never stops. Seems like it just goes on and on and on. He's had three hair replacement surgeries, but that's really just moving hair around the head. He says eventually you run out of supply. Dr. Kenneth Williams may have a new hope, though, for Roy and millions of others. He's running a clinical trial that uses stem cells and platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, to treat baldness. Well, this study is taking cells that are in our body that help to regenerate or stimulate inactive or dormant hair follicles. That is the theory behind what we're uh, doing the, um, the, this procedure on. Dr. Williams takes fat from the abdomen and separates the stem cells, creating a mixture that's added to the patient's own plasma, which has been spun down to be super concentrated. Then, with 300 shots, he injects the mixture into the scalp, twice over a three-month period. Roy hopes to get into the trial, which has five participants so far. Dr. Williams already does the procedure for pain patients who've had promising results. Those patients uh, are seeing some difference in, in the density of the hair. We're waiting for, uh, for the final results, which takes about nine to 12 months after the administration. We, we look to see the final results of what we're doing. Dr. Williams hopes to publish results in two years. The trial is supported by the National Institutes of Health, but not by a major pharmaceutical company at this point, and that means you'll have to pay to participate. To learn more about the trial, you can check out the health section of click2houston.com. Lauren Freeman, KPRC, Channel 2 News.